All right, Bruno. I don't want you to do. If you would, yeah. just go ahead and tell me who you are and, and how you came how you came to the city. I come in this city. Yeah, just look at me. Go ahead and tell me who you are and how you came to the city. You know, I come over here 1946. 46. In October, the last of the October. And I work for USCG for five years. After five years, I listed the Black Rock Desert for two years. After two years, the guy who wants too much, he wants 60% of the profit. And they wanted me to work, and I told them, it's too late now. And I got married, and at the same time, I got let out to work with Harvey Gross. I worked over there a couple months, and after he came in too cold, and uh, with a lot of snow, and me and my wife, is still like, we got the house we, in Gerlach. We come home, and the guy, he got Gerlach Club, he offered me a job. That time it used to be pretty good, and uh, I worked over there seven months. After seven months, I buy this place over here, and I built that, I turned it down, and I built that little big one. Finally, I make a little big and big one. In 1983, it burned up, and I rebuilt the brand new. My, in 1952, in uh, four or five months, you know, I, I worked around before I built this place, and I got a lot of opportunity. I worked for the Sister Palace, a little because the guy used to work for me. In 1952, he left and go work in Las Vegas. In Las Vegas, that time, he used to buy one share, the sister, to get a job. And, he, and I got Le Taco, and he got Las Vegas. And after they come in Biggie Wee on Las Vegas, and when he opened up Le Taco, sister, he called me to help him because he got too much leakage, you know. And uh, I got over there helping for five weeks. And after that, he wanted me another three weeks. And after that, he wanted me two more weeks. And finally, I said, no, I got my place over here. And my wife and my daughter, they said, I go home. But the people treated me good. But I got a lot of opportunity in my life. I work, I make a lot of success. So how have things changed over the years? Over here now, it's not too, too good like it used to. Over here it used to be good. You know, the railroad, every train, it stopped over here. And it used to have a crew. Every crew, you take a train, wine in, in Elko, Nevada, and one Portola, California. All freight or any passenger? Everyone. Really? When did it stop coming here? It stopped coming over here in the early feet. He used to have a passenger train, and after that, in 1970, I built the hotel, uh, the motel. In 19, yeah, yeah. In 1972, I opened up a coffee shop, and after I built another hotel, eight room, and after 1983, this place burned up, I rebuilt it. And I built the hotel on the road, you know, the big hotel of it, you know. When did they make you stop carrying a gun? <laughs> <laughs> you built this place three times now. Huh? You built this place three times now. Two times. Two times, but you said it was once, it was too small, and then... Oh, yeah, my, I, I built a place started. See, when I buy this place over here, and I, 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 the guy... I bought it in Capo Mexico. I said, I buy the place, and uh, the first of me, I take it over. And the people you know, they think it's a funny. I, I buy the place, I pay, my you know, want to move it. And then myself, one morning, I get up, I go over here, I take the roof out, the place. And the message, I think, is a joke, you know. But it started raining, and they move it. No what? <laughs> what? With no roof. No, you, you know. And then when he move it, first I traveled the bar, 
and the Mexico stay the other side. And after that, he got a big ring, and finally he decided to move it. And when he moved it, I built everything. 83 days. 83 days. I built it.